Hey you guys, it's your girl T, and once again we have a story that's coming from our first favorite state, Ratchet Ass, Florida. So what's going down in Florida, you ask? Once again, literally Florida has been in the news every day for the past few days. And this past Thursday, a young 15-year-old girl, her name is Tavana Horton Teamer, and basically this young girl, she was with her friends, um, a few of her girlfriends, and she was taking a shower, and one of her so-called friends recorded her without her permission and without her knowledge of her taking a shower and decided to upload that video onto Snapchat. And so once that video was taken and placed on Snapchat, the girls started getting bullied. People were calling out types of whores and sluts and everything else. And once Tovana realized what had happened, she was just so distraught that she ended up taking a gun out her mother's purse. She ran into the bathroom and she ended up killing herself. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest Good of the Good evening, I'm today. Keith Cate. And I'm Stacey Scheibel. Thank you for joining us tonight. A Wesley Chapel mother is looking for justice after her 15-year-old daughter took her own life. She blames bullying after a nude video of her daughter was posted to Snapchat just hours before her death. Candace McCowan now joins us live from Wiregrass Ranch High School. That's in Wesley Chapel. And boy, students there ended the year on what a sad note. Indeed, Stacy Tavana Holton should have been finishing the last day of her freshman year here at Wiregrass Ranch High School today, but instead, her parents are planning her funeral, and the Pasco County Sheriff's Office is investigating what happened. There's really no words to describe this mother's pain. Lavon Holton Teamer finding her 15-year-old dead. Then I go to the bathroom. I couldn't get in the bathroom. The bathroom light was off, so I tried to get out and I looked down. I seen a puddle of blood. LaVon telling me they had to break the door down to get to Devana, who had taken her mother's gun from her purse. Oh, I tried to apply the pressure, apply pressure to her head. I tried to save her. Hours earlier, Tavana had expressed to her mother that something was wrong. Tavana mentioning her friends had a photo. I wanted to say, Mommy, Mommy, I owe them. I owe them. I say, what you mean you owe them? After Tavana's suicide, the teen's family took to Facebook in search of answers, only to find out the picture was really a video thought to be shot by a good friend that's been shared with dozens. She videotaped her while she was taking a shower. Everybody was up there talking about her and calling her names and everything. And they said it went up on um, social media was snap to what in Snapchat. I had never heard of it before. Um, about three something that afternoon. Three hours later, Tavana was dead. Tavana's story is viral, shared on social media thousands of times with the hashtag stop bullying. This family is now seeking justice. I want to actually let them pay exactly, you know, feel what we're feeling that we've lost, even if their child is convicted or in trouble, they can go visit their child. Well, we reached out to, pa to the Pasco County School District today. They told me that they handed the investigation over to the Sheriff's Department. And we reached out to them as well. They say they are aware of the video. They are investigating, but so far, no arrest. Stacy, Boy, and just torture to watch that mother's pain. Do you know if she reported that bullying to school before this? She tells me she did come up to the school many times to report this bullying. She was even considering taking her daughter out of this school next year, but she says she wasn't always satisfied with the responses she got here. I did reach out to the school district and to the sheriff's office. Neither one of them wanted to speak on camera today. All Stacey. right, Candace McCowan live in Pasco County. So sad. Right, Thank you. You guys just saw that news clip, and this story is just extremely heartbreaking. And this is why I say everybody who claims to be your friend is not necessarily your friend. And as young people, you have to decipher who you're Real friends are and who are not your real friends and I'm sure that these girls have done things in the past to make her feel like they're not really friends or real good friends to her because a good friend would have empathy and would put themselves in your shoes you know it's one thing to pull a prank but to sit there and record somebody naked and then on top of that to put that on social media for the world to see because in this day and age I don't buy the whole, I'm a teenager, I didn't know better. We know that when you post something onto social media, time and time again, it's been drilled into these kids' head that there's no taking that down. Once you post something, it's there for the world to see. So for her so-called friend to so-called do this as a so-called joke or a prank, it's not funny.
You know what I'm saying? There was nothing funny about this. This was all the way malicious. And I definitely think that whoever took this video of her, because one, it's child pornography, because this girl is 15 years old, but two, that person should be charged, point blank, period. You know, I'm just so tired of people out here just being so evil and vindictive and looking for jokes, but not being empathetic. You know, folks are so obsessed with likes, hearts, and retweets but they're not obsessed with being good people. They're not obsessed with being empathetic people. They're not obsessed with treating those in the same manner in which they wanna be treated. You know, it's really sad the world that we're in. It's really sad a lot of these kids are just becoming more and more desensitized, more and more evil. And I'm convinced that a lot of folks are being born without an empathy chip. You know, I'm not saying that bad things didn't happen when I was in school and things like that. But if somebody is your friend, if somebody is your homegirl, somebody is your ride or die, you're gonna think twice before ever putting your friend in that situation. It's one thing if it was an enemy or a stranger, but this was one of her so-called friends who did this and then posted this on social media. With friends like that, who the hell needs enemies? And that's why I tell these young girls, be careful who you consider a friend. You know, people out here are so petty nowadays and so jealous and so spiteful. People will try and put you in situations just to make themselves look better, just to have a one up on you. That's why you have to be very careful who you call your friend and know the difference between a friend and associate and somebody that you just shouldn't fool with. Like I always say, people will always show you their true colors and it's your job to pay very close attention to that and cut them off if need be. If their attitude and their disposition and their moral character does not match up with your moral character and your disposition, at that point in time, there's no need to carry on that friendship. At that point in time, it's time to move on. You know, so this entire situation is definitely heartbreaking. No 15-year-old girl should have to go through something like this. You know, and the fact that she took her own life is just really sad. I feel extremely bad for her mother and for her entire family. You know, it's just really sad that we got to this point where some teenagers feel like this type of behavior is just acceptable and that it's okay to do this to your so-called friend. So anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Once again, concerning Tovana, you know, how do you feel about her so-called friend who posted this video? And do you agree with me that this person who posted this video on Snapchat for the world to see that they should be charged with the crime as well? Because honestly, they were uploading and distributing child pornography because this girl was a child and this was not okay. This girl should be getting ready for her sophomore year in high school, but instead her parents are having to bury her. You know, the whole situation is just a shame. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.